So Illustrator has this nice new tool called the Dimension Tool, which I'm going to show you with, for, to begin with, this Star Shape. So click the Dimension Tool. And then with my Star Shape, I can select an anchor point and then select another anchor point and then drag it down. As you can see here, you get the distance between those two anchor points. And can choose anchor points and then drag up or down and you see the distance between those anchor points. What you can also do is select the angular dimension tool and for this one you need a angle and then with the angle you select the anchor point of that angle and you drag outside to get the distance um, from the angle that angle but you can also select an angle and then drag inside and then you get the inside distance between those two lines. And as you can see, if you go to the layers window, you see that it makes a separate layer just for the dimensions. I'm going to lock my star layer. Um, now I'm going to select yeah. Now I'm going to select the dimension things. And if I then go to the properties window, you can see that now you get several options specifically for those dimension items. So you can choose the color you want to use. Let's say we want to use blue. And then you can also choose the line weight. You can make it thicker so it's better so you can see it better let's take five you can also choose the line type between the dimensions you're measuring let's make it a dashed line and then you can also choose the arrow style to something you fancy let's choose arrow 11. you can also choose the extension line color and that's that are those lines you can see here. Uh, let's also make that blue. And also the line weight for these can be changed. You can change the offset, the line type. And you can also hide them in case you do not want to see them. And then you can also change your dimension text. You can give it another font um, to something you like. You can also give it all the color. You can give it an offset and all those things. So this can all be changed to your liking. Now, there is one other thing we can do uh, with that dimension tool. So I'm now going to select everything and I'm going to delete it because to show what we can also do with the dimension tool, I need to make a circle. So making a circle. And then let's go back to the dimension tool. And as you can see here, you have a radial dimension. Now, the radial dimension, as you can see here, you get the radius, so the center point to the part, the line farthest from it and if you click you get the distance uh, you can also click and drag and then you get the diameter so the diameter of the entire circle and as you can see now it also displays that again the same as before you get two separate layers and then you also have the two options, of course. Uh, you can select the units and scale, document unit, the precision you want it to be. You can go as precise as you need it to be. You can choose the scale. You can even hide the units and also line weight and all that. And that's the standard option. It's not like we did before, but it's basically the same like we did before in the properties. And these are the dimension tool options, meaning that if you change them here, you always get what you changed in every dimension you are measuring. 
a quick video on how to use the dimension tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video. Be sure to press the like button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos going live every Wednesday and Thursday. And for now, thank you for watching this video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.